A marble run building system designed especially for your three to seven year old? This is Gravitrax Jr., the little brother of Gravitrax. Your kid starts by connecting interlocking base plates. Next, height stackers are placed on the base plates, topped by tiles that take marbles on a ride through themed play worlds like jungle, ocean, ice world, and desert. This is the flagship Gravitrax Jr. product, the My Planet Starter Set. It's the only set with all four decorative themes in one box, but is it worth the $130 price tag? In this video, we'll compare this set to other Gravitrax Jr. sets costing much less. Ravensburger has teamed up with The Masked Marble to bring you my unfiltered review of Gravitrax Jr. and the My Planet Starter Set. And this video is jam-packed with goodies and freebies. Destroy a Gravitrax Jr. marble. Free access to my exclusive Gravitrax Jr. reference sheet, which shows at a glance what's in every set. I'll give you free access to my Masked Marble Western theme 3D print pack for Gravitrax Jr. containing designs for add-on decorative pieces you can make on your 3D printer. And we're going to get together with some friends and watch their reactions building with the Gravitrax Jr. My Planet set. That's a lot of groovy Gravitraxy goodness in one video, so please do me a favor and watch to the end. Let's open the Gravitrax Jr. My Planet set. There's no shrink wrap or frustrating toy packaging. The set opens by tearing off these two strips. That's it. The box is well organized with dividers and these bags hold small parts. That's a nice touch. The box can be reused for storage by tucking in the lid like this. Gravitrax Jr. is modular like its big brother Gravitrax, which makes it easy to build many different tracks. Even though the tiles from both systems are the same size, Gravitrax Jr. is not compatible with regular Gravitrax because the marbles are 60% larger and the tiles and spacers have a different stacking profile. However, this $15 adapter element lets you bridge the two systems together. The larger marbles are still small enough to pose a choking hazard for children under three along with other small pieces. Marbles can roll a long ways on their own, so please do not use Gravitrax Jr. in the vicinity of your child under three. Another key difference is Gravitrax Jr. has no rails, keeping things simple for little fingers. Instead of rails, some Gravitrax Jr. tiles have built-in slopes, and marbles also get a boost from this hammer element. The challenge for your child is to arrange the pieces end-to-end, -end, adjusting their position and height to keep the marble going. You see, your kid is learning to plan ahead. Oh yeah, we have to store a pile. So we'll take everything off and then put it on like, two sides. Yeah, and then we'll put two more pieces on Many marble run systems for kids build taller, with the marbles falling down drain pipes. But Gravitrax Jr. builds are low to the ground, as if the marbles are going through a theme park ride where you never lose sight of the marbles. The Gravitrax Jr. universe also has action pieces like a seesaw, a launch button, a separately sold trap, and this Notre Dame tile. Wait, there's no Notre Dame tile. That's from another video. Oh no, I found a dead spot on the launch pad. Most Gravitrax Jr. pieces are built of eco-friendly wood bioplastics containing 40% wood and 60% plastic. The tiles are off-white in color. Regular Gravitrax tiles are bright white and turn noticeably yellow after only a few hours of direct sunlight. So Gravitrax manuals warn you not to expose tiles to the sun, but the Gravitrax Jr. manual has no such warning. Maybe sun damage would not be as noticeable on Gravitrax Jr. tiles? I don't know. So I ran a test and put a tile outside for a few days. After two full days in the sun, I didn't see any significant change in the tile's color. Maybe just a slight hint of yellow? Gravitrax base plates are made of pressed cardboard, but Gravitrax Jr. base plates are dark plastic, making them less susceptible to spills, wear, yellowing from the sun, and bent corners. I just wish these openings on the edge were closed, as it seems they might catch on things. But the base plates are well designed, they snap together nicely, and stackers will stay in place even in edge spaces that have an open side, so you can build on every grid space. Hey, the base plates even work upside down. Gravitrax Jr. marbles are plastic, not steel like regular Gravitrax. Some of the marbles looked slightly out of round, but they all rolled just fine. 
When regular Gravitrex steel marbles drop too many times on the tile floor, their paint starts chipping, and this causes marbles not to roll as well. But Gravitrex Junior plastic marbles appear to be more resilient and durable, bouncing off hard floors without damage. Let's take a hammer to one and see if we can smash it. Wow, these plastic marbles are tough as nails. That marble took a lot of effort to break. But Gravitrex Jr. isn't just about marbles rolling down a track. A large part of the Gravitrex Jr. play system are these cute decorative themed pieces that come in three flavors, plastic plants and animals, embossed plastic tiles of animal tracks and prints, and cardboard cutouts. I really like the plastic plants and animals. They are the bomb. The plants and landmarks create fun environments, and the animals are like little characters. Hey, what are you doing in the desert? You're a jungle spider. No, this is the jungle. You're trying to turn the jungle into the Sahara. <laughs> Don't bite me. Ow, ow. These decorations can be placed along the track using mounting holes in the marble tiles. Some of the mounting holes have notches that are intended to keep the larger decorative pieces from interfering with the marble track, but I was disappointed to find they don't work as intended and even small misalignments sometimes cause marbles to stop at the spider legs or octopus arm. There are also dedicated mounting bases so decorations can be placed anywhere around the track. Some pieces can even hold marbles. Aren't they cute? I wish regular Gravitrax had decorative elements like this. The embossed print tiles are simply placed in any open spot on the base plate grid or on a spacer. At first I didn't think I would like these tiles, but I found their colors add a nice aesthetic to the track. And finally we have the cutout figures made of pressed cardboard. I don't think these are a good idea. As a boy who grew up with Smash Up Derby, I'm fairly certain that 96.2% of American boys ages 3 to 7 like to play rough, and that's bad news for toys made out of cardboard. Gravitrax Jr. sets are available in four themes, and each one has different decorative pieces. There's my jungle, my ocean, my ice world, and my desert, which is the masked marble's favorite. Hold on, we need a saguaro. Nice. So here's your first freebie for watching the video this far. I'm giving you my Masked Marble Western theme 3D print pack for Gravitrax Jr., which contains designs for this saguaro and other unique decorative elements you can make on your 3D printer. The designs are linked in the video description. Overall, I think the decorative pieces are what make Gravitrax Jr. unique, turning it from a plain marble run into a decorated theme park. It's like your marbles are going through a theme ride at Disney World. And speaking of Disney, two new Disney theme packs are coming in September to expand your Gravitrax Jr. Marble Run decorations, Frozen and The Lion King. Without the decorative themes, Gravitrax Jr. might be pretty bland. After all, the longest marble run I could build with the My Planet set lasted less than 10 seconds, which may be fine for little kids because they just want to run it over and over anyways. But it really adds a lot to the play system when marbles roll past all the decorative landmarks. And your kid's imagination can run wild making up stories with the places and characters. Can't you just picture your kid yelling, watch out, as the marble almost gets grabbed by an octopus arm or bit by a rattlesnake? I would love to see even more themes for Gravitrax Jr. Maybe a dinosaur theme with dinosaur tracks. Tell me your ideas for decorative themes in the comments. So what do kids think of Gravitrax Jr.? I brought in some friends to play with the set to see what their reactions would be. People like to test it. Yes. I was, I was testing oh, it. Oh yeah, perfect. Oops. That looks perfect. Then I'll go like this. A spider tunnel. Ooh, that's cool. Ooh, that's cool. Well, and the ice land. Ooh, level mountains. Do you like that? Yeah. So now we need to put that down. Boom. And then that thing. Guys, you're the builder, I'm the test. Look at that. Ready for test. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Oh no. Did oh, that's, mean... that's why. It was flipped around backwards. Let's take this out. Oh yeah, that would be perfect. So that it has exact speed. Okay. Yes. Well, no, I think we need a cool. Is that perfect? Oh, just slightly. Oh, 
like more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks perfect. I think it's yeah. What do you think of it so far? I love it. You just need it to heal. The last little piece. Yes, so we need oh. two of these. Yes! Okay, we're ready to test. Oh no! What do you guys think? Great! It looks so good. Catch a mobile! Oh yeah! That's oh, this What's your favorite decoration so far? I think I like the ocean. Ocean? Ice wood. Okay, what'd you guys think? I think it was really cool. It was fun just setting it up. What's your favorite part of it? Actually, I think it was decorating the things and like saying, oh, that would fit here. If you use this, it would go up a slope. Oh, okay. So you use the hammer to make it go back up? Yeah. Nice. Let's, let's make the video now. Now this is important to know, even though the My Planet set contains decorative elements from all four themes, it doesn't contain every decorative element found in the individual theme sets. To see what I mean, let's compare sets using the reference sheet I mentioned earlier. This is your second freebie. It's called Gravisheet. I just added this new tab to Gravisheet version 10 that lists every Gravitrex Junior set. These sets can be broken down into three categories. First, there are starter sets. You get started with Gravitrex Jr. by purchasing at least one starter set. They are the only sets that contain all the building pieces you need, including base plates, stackers, marbles, start and end tiles, and track tiles. There are currently four starter sets, with My Planet being the largest, containing about 200 pieces and costing $130. There are two themed starter sets, My Jungle and My Ice World, containing about 100 pieces and costing $60. And the smallest starter set is the unthemed My Start and Run starter set, containing 37 pieces and costing $42. Second, there are extensions. Think of them as expansion packs that can only be used by combining them with a starter set. Most extensions are $25 themed decoration sets that include every decorative piece for that theme plus additional curved tiles and marbles. But the $35 unthemed My Tracks extension is an expansion pack of basic building pieces and is the only other set besides the My Planet set to contain both the right and left curved bridges. Third, individual elements can be purchased for $15 such as the hammer and trap. Most starter sets already include a hammer, but the trap can only be purchased as an individual element. So now let's use Gravisheet to examine set contents. For example, the My Planet set contains a rattlesnake, prickly pear cactus, desert tent, and rock arch from the desert theme. But the My Decoration set includes those plus five more, a scorpion, a lizard, agave plant, barrel cactus, and fennec fox. The desert decoration set also includes two more cardboard cutouts and two more print tiles than the My Planet set. And the same is true of the other three themes. The My Planet set is the only set to contain this extra large landing pad. It also contains a whopping 10 marbles and 96 height stackers, well more than double the quantity in any other set. And that's significant because Gravitrex Jr. has no raised platforms on which to build. So longer marble ones will have a higher starting point, requiring exponentially more stackers. For example, in this track, the first four tiles use over a quarter of the 96 stackers in the set. Now here's the cool thing about Gravisheet. At the bottom of the Gravitrex Junior tab, you can compare set bundles. For example, let's set bundle A to be just one My Planet set. And for bundle B, let's start with one My Jungle starter set and add one each of the other theme decoration extensions, desert, ice, and ocean. We see the two options cost about the same and have almost the same number of base plates and marbles. But the My Planet set gives you 60 more stackers and a right curved bridge piece, while Bundle B gives you 21 more curved tiles and five more decorative base tiles. Bundle B would also give you way more decorative elements, eight more print tiles, 20 more plastic plants and animals, and eight more cardboard cutouts. So the four set bundle might be the better deal if you want every decoration piece from all four themes, but the My Planet set will be the better deal if you want a sampling of the four decorative themes combined with enough stackers to build a longer track. Gravisheet is my free gift to you. It's online, it's free, and it resides in Google Sheets. To use it, follow the link in the description and hit the template button to get started.
So what do you think of Gravitrax Jr.? Let me know in the comments if you prefer the My Planet set or the smaller theme sets. Click here for some ASMR style marble runs from the Gravitrax Jr. My Planet set on my Mask Marble ASMR channel. Or click here for a video tutorial on all the other features of Gravisheet, like the contents of regular Gravitrax sets, a sheet to track your Gravitrax inventory, and over 500 Gravitrax track designs for you to build.